Chrissy, thank you. The family of a man hit and killed Saturday night is offering a reward for information that brings justice. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson is in Greenville with this 7 News update. Greenville police are looking for a van that hit 27 year old Elijah Bartholo at this very busy intersection tonight. His mother says the entire family wants answers and justice. They're even offering a $500 reward. Definitely a knock on the door in the middle of the night that no parent wants or should have to get. Angela Myers is still trying to process the loss of her son, Elijah Bartholo. I think the hardest thing as mom is just I, I'm not going to see him no more. And I didn't see him before this happened. I'm struggling dealing with that. That's hard. That's really hard. The father of two and brother of five was hit Saturday around 10 p.m. while walking at the intersection of Malden Road and South Pleasant Bird Drive. The vehicle that hit the pedestrian did not stop. Meyer says her son was on his way to Waffle House where he worked third shift. To know that someone did this and left him alone to die, they didn't stop. They didn't call 911. They acted like he was nothing, that he didn't matter. And he does matter. No one should have to die like that. Investigators are now looking for a gray or silver Dodge Caravan like this with the missing side mirror with damage to the front end of the car. They're also looking for someone who could help with information. We did hear that there was another uh, pedestrian that was with the person that got hit by the vehicle and we are also looking for them. While the family is now offering a reward, Meyer says nothing will be able to replace him and their memories. He's that smile that you look for if you're having a bad day. He was the humor in the dark times and he could always make someone laugh. But hopes by someone coming forward, it would give their family justice. If someone could be held accountable for what they've done is definitely going to give his children and his brothers closure. As the mom, that's what's important to me right now. In Greenville, Asia Wilson, 7 News. The Greenville Police Department says if you know anything about this case or if you see the car mentioned, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 23 Crime.